we're in a transition mode, you know, and um, I think we lose uh, a really good player in Khalid Hart, uh, but we're excited about uh, our junior class. That was our first recruiting class that's done a lot of the heavy lifting in this basketball program, and there's five uh, initially, and then, of course, the addition of uh, Richie Mitchell in that class, but uh, we're excited about that class, and also our second recruiting class, which has to be a Soberg, and then Alex Dosich, who was a sit-out, and will become eligible this year. So. At the forefront of all those uh, initial first two recruiting classes, and there's seven of them, I think it's Brian Parker, Ryan Funk. All right? Those two have proven to be uh, you know, elite MAC level players, I believe. And then we're excited about uh, Tobias Soberg's uh, continued development as a young big at 6'9", 260 pounds. And then Alex Dosich coming from Marshall on Conference USA will, will add a lot to our basketball program. And, uh, people want to know who's going to replace Khalid, and uh, really it's Alex because he's um, older and experienced and, and very talented. It's just at another position. I think on the court, uh, I think they've proven that they continue to get better. Uh, it's the things that we need that are, those are tangible uh, things, and, but it's the intangible things. We need leadership, and I think particularly with Ryan, who's made the biggest leap of any of our players from freshman to sophomore year, and I think is... Um, you know, an elite shooter and becoming a complete player, but he's got great leadership qualities uh, in our basketball program, and um, he's soft-spoken, but when he does say something, it carries a lot of weight because of the respect that he's gained, uh, not only from the staff, but more importantly from uh, his teammates. And then Ryan Parker, uh, you know, had an uh, incredible uh, freshman year where he's the uh, runner-up MAC Rookie of the Year. Um, so we're expecting him as well uh, to continue to mature both on and off the court and uh, we're excited about that duo moving forward. So when you talk about our program we're still um, that core is two sophomores and five juniors. Right? So uh, then we want to blend other players uh, you know and that could be Richie Mitchell as a, a junior and a ju junior college transfer. It could be our two seniors and uh, Connor McGlennigan and Obi Moma, and then we're excited about our three incoming freshmen as well. Um, you know, with the two guards that are both athletic, uh, Andrea Bernardi uh, and Austin Williams, and then uh, Lasse uh, Gumares from Finland uh, can really shoot the basketball, and he shot over 50% uh, in the under 20s uh, for his national team. I never like to uh, to raise expectation with freshmen. Uh, you know, I think. With our, when we started three years ago to try to um, uh, add stability to this basketball program and then change the culture, I, you know, the, the junior class is the class that's done that. And their, the expectation for them as freshmen um, uh, was heavy uh, because they had to. Uh, we're not asking our incoming freshmen to do the same kind of heavy lifting work that, uh, that uh, their teammates uh, did. So we're hopeful that the two incoming guards, they're both athletic but different players. I think uh, Austin Williams is more of a combo guard that is extremely athletic and a table setter and a scorer where Andrea Bernardi is extremely athletic but in a different way. He's a vertical athlete and can shoot it from deep. So it's a nice uh, combination of skills there and we're going to ask them to blend, and whoever surfaces, uh, you know, will have to earn some minutes there. And then Lasse Gumaris is, um, we're really excited about as a forward at 6'8", because he can shoot from distance, and uh, his percentages have been uh, very, very accurate, and he's, he's a good uh, out-of-area out rebounder, uh, and I think that will add to our value. Like a lot of MAC teams, there is always an ambitious schedule um, to look forward to, and uh, we're no different. Uh, although we're very excited about how that has played out. We have 13 home games, 13 road games, and four neutrals. Um, and the highlight of the schedule, obviously everybody wants to talk about it, is the Advocare tournament uh, down in Orlando. And I can remember my first year um, at West Virginia, um, we went down for the inaugural tournament. Uh, it used to be called the Old Spice then. Uh, and Jared Jordan and Maris were there, and they were terrific. And um, I was a young assistant then at West Virginia, and uh, now we're taking our team back, and wouldn't you know it, we're playing uh, West Virginia. So uh, that will pull my heartstrings a little bit because I had such a great experience there. Um, but uh, they'll, they're ranked preseason number 13, so that'll be a stiff challenge. And 
Uh, but we're looking forward to that overall experience for our basketball program and uh, uh, how that will help us prepare for a rigorous schedule in the MAC. Another tournament that we're in is uh, at the Citadel down in Charleston, beautiful city, and uh, we'll play the host uh, team coming out of the gate and then have a neutral court game against either West Point or UMBC. Uh, and then we have, you know, the opening night home game against Lehigh, who's traditionally been uh, very, very good in the Patriot League that we're excited about. And then another weekend home game against uh, West Point, which uh, should, I think, uh, uh, draw a lot of uh, people here from uh, the Hudson Valley to take a, an interest in that game as well. I, I think, you know, I, I say this every year, no matter uh, where we're picked uh, or how we are. Um, our goal is the same every year, is to make everyone at Marist proud of our program on and off the court. Uh, now, some of the tangible goals, I think uh, our program has uh, certainly uh, been in transition. Uh, we would like to make a jump in the standings. There's no uh, surprise to that. Uh, but, uh, but our goal remains the same. We want to play an aesthetically pleasing style of basketball. And uh, as our uh, roster continues to mature and gains chemistry, um, I think those results uh, will surface. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm really, really proud of how those first two recruiting classes have shouldered the responsibility of moving a program uh, that lacked stability and continuity forward and how those guys have represented our program on our campus and in our community.